Hi, this is Bob Hall with Awesome Farms. We're here uh, at uh, Kaylin, and Phil is behind the camera. We'll get him out here in a minute at their home. I started uh, doing aquaponics and and some of this stuff that I'm showing uh, back in 2009. And uh, Phil and Kaylin, they built their aquaponics system in 2011. All right, welcome to the aquaponics system. I want to show you. We'll start back here. Go into your man cave there, and right. we'll talk about that for a little bit. It's uh, basically these benches are over the top of the, the fish are down in here. The bed's it's partially sunk in the ground. It's two and a half feet deep total, eight by four feet wide. There's about a 500 uh, gallon. Yeah, about 500 gallons, and the uh, catfish in a matter of 15 months will go from. Five inches long to two and a half pounds. Cool. Show us around in your work area. Cause you you got to have a work area if you're gonna. Okay. And if you can see it, compost tea maker right here. Very important. And if I can, I pump right out of the fish water to start with it, or I've got a I've got a basin of water with well water in it. I've also got right outside a rain barrel collection, so I can collect rain and put it. Right now, it's being fed automatic with a pressure valve that, that uh, when it gets low it brings in water from the rain barrel. And I say most important you've got the refrigerator to stock all your cold drinks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyway, work area is almost mandatory. And the other thing you'll see, a lot of gardens have narrow aisles. I went 30 inch aisles just so I can get both carts in there and me and that. Plants will grow into the gar into the aisles so bad that you can't get through them. So that's another. One. That's a good point to leave. You go around this way. I, I want to show you. So, if you can see over by Kaylin there, all these tomato plants, and you see they're doing much better here in the uh, aquaponic system than they are outside. Even though this is a greenhouse, he does have a shade cloth on it. But um, the, the thing about aquaponics is plants sense the temperature from their root system and since the water is down here underground or in the ground the water doesn't get above 80 degrees so even though it might be a hundred here in the greenhouse the plants think it's 80 and they do much much better now Phil can you show real quick because you've taken some cuttings cut the suckers off and you just stuck them here in the in the raft bed right yeah, those were four inches high three weeks ago I planted them on June third and it's now June 28th. So just by sticking uh, just by sticking a sucker from the tomato plant into the raft system then it sprouts and yeah let's take a look look at all that look okay. at all the roots and Fresh roots. that's amazing how things can propagate in a greenhouse also quick show me uh, all the you, you got a million tomato plants there. Why do you have all those tomato plants? The same, the same day same day we did that, I pulled out. There were three tomato plants that just covered this whole area like from this. last fall. Like this. Yeah. They were huge, and they were sucking up a lot of water, and they were unmanageable. So I pulled them out, and the tomatoes that were just had fallen into the gravel, this is what came from those. Those are, again... So these are all volunteers. All volunteers. I, so then you I'll can pull them out that. soon. Okay, so the way this works is you've got four gravel beds and the, the pump and the fish pump up into these gravel beds yeah look at that and then you transplant wherever you want and then the gravel beds drain into the raft bed and that drains back to the fish so you've got a perfect little ecosystem here and here's it's lettuce. phenomenal this is how you plant lettuce there she's Kaylin is seeding the lettuce. Yeah, those got away from us, got a little old, so I let them. There's three varieties with one in the aquaponics and then those two. That... So the beauty of, of letting your plants go to seed is that the, the children are always smarter than the parents. They're more acclimated to their environment. And so the new lettuce will even grow better in this system. Now I want to show the 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 big the big ticket item here in the greenhouse. Show us what you've got going because I don't think anybody else has ever done this in a aquaponic system. Uh, Satsuma orange tree. It's two years old. Um, I had one outside and it died in the in the 2011 drought. No, it was the freeze that winter. Anyway, but anyway, this started out about that tall. 
and it's near doubled every year. But anyway, it's only two years old, but we've got fruit on it this year. Last year it didn't have any. It's but it's growing great. It's growing great in just an aquaponics bed. And this is a flood drain system. I have it, uh, I have it watered 10 minutes every hour, basically. So that's the two beds alternate on a flood drain system. And it will grow all the way to the top, 14 feet. That's great. That's why you built the greenhouse so tall. Right. We plan to put more in. Later. Another plant that grows super fantastic is stevia. Uh, stevia is hard to sprout. I mean, yeah, it's hard to sprout. It seems like a whole pack of seeds you get one plant. You can just break off a little branch, stick it in the gravel, and it grows. It never shows a sign of shock. Aquaponics is amazing for starting stuff. But that's all you get. But it, uh, anyway, and then some comfrey that's growing that I transplanted. I just divide about, got divided and planted out in the. So I want to, before we end, I wanted to mention you talked, you told me, even though you've raised bed garden most of your life, having added this aquaponic system in 2011 has still taught you many things that have been very beneficial into the dirt and other gardening areas. Is that? Yeah, it's, it really has yeah, made a tremendous tea. difference. Compost tea and starting our own and, and uh, you know, when I do the compost tea here, I also put it out in the garden and it's made a tremendous difference. We've upped our scale of, of compost in general and that's been a real boon. Raised beds are a real boon. Anyway, but aquaponics, and the fish taste wonderful. Got catfish. That's what I'm growing. Yeah, great. Well, I want to thank you and Kaylin for allowing us to view your place. And this is Bob Hall with Wholesome Farm. Thank you for watching. And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel.